In this video, we are going to look at the checkbox control for Windows Form applications. The checkbox is a control that allows the user to select a yes or no or a Boolean type option, either one or another state. Checkboxes can be used uh, with other checkboxes and allow the user to select from unrelated selections. This is different from radio buttons, which allow the user to select one option from a set of options. Some of the common properties of a checkbox are as follows. The text property contains a string value, and whatever st string value is in the text property, that's the text that displays next to the checkbox. The checked property is a Boolean property that tells whether the user has checked the box or not. So the checked property being tr true means that the checkbox is checked. The enabled property is a Boolean property that lets the user enable or disable the control. A disabled control can no longer be interacted with. The visible property is a Boolean uh, property that tells you whether you can see the checkbox or not. Some helpful methods you might use are the show and hide method, which you can set or, or uh, sets the visible property to false or true. And then the main event that is commonly used with a checkbox is the checked changed event. And the checked changed event is the default event associated with a checkbox. And what happens is every time the checkbox is either checked or unchecked, the state changes. Whenever the state changes in the checkbox, the checked changed event triggers. And we will look at that in an example. So, all right, to look at checkboxes, I'm going to go to my common controls tab in my toolbox here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab two checkboxes, checkbox one, checkbox two. And then, because I want to look at some output here, I'm going, to, I'm going to grab a rich text box, and I'm going to grab a button. And this button is going to allow me to test, I'm going to call this button the test button, the button is going to test whether the checkbox uh, 1 or 2 are checked or not. Let's register an event, a click event, with my button. And I'm going to call this test checkboxes. And inside this event, or when this event is triggered, I am going to check the checked property of both my checkboxes and see if they are checked or not, or if they're true or not. So um, to begin this, I'm going to take my rich text box one and clear out any old text. So we'll say clear old text. Then I'm going to write a couple Boolean or if statements here that say if checkbox one checked property is true. Now a common mistake that I see students make is they'll try to say is checkbox one true? Well, checkbox one is the is the entire checkbox control. We want to check if the checked property of the checkbox one is selected or not, is true or not. So if checkbox one dot checked is true, then I'm going to append to the rich text box the string checkbox one is checked. And I'll pick, stick a new line at the end. And then we'll do the same for check for checkbox two. So if checkbox two checked property is true, then I will again append some text to the rich text box that says that checkbox two is checked. All right. So when we click the button, we're going to check each checkbox independently to see if they are checked or not. So let's run this program and see what the output looks like. So here, if I test it with nothing checked, nothing is printed. If I select my checkbox one, I see that checkbox one is checked. If I select checkbox two, I see checkbox two is checked. And I can check both checkboxes. So checkboxes allow independent Boolean selection from the user. So I can select one or neither or both. Okay, now let's look at the checkbox two check changed property. 
So I'm going to register the check changed event for my checkbox 2. And because this, it, the check changed event is the default event associated with the checkbox, if I double click on my checkbox, it should register the check changed event for me. So what we're going to do is when the checkbox 2 is checked or not, let's put a little status message onto the um, rich text box. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to say rich text box one dot clear, get rid of the old text. And then I'm going to say if checkbox two is checked property is true, then let's append uh, the text. Let's put a little caret here and say uh, checkbox two is checked. And otherwise, I'm going to say it is not checked. So we're going to append the text. Checkbox 2 is unchecked. All right, so let's look at this for a second. The check changed event is going to trigger every time the state changes of the checkbox. So each time that the state changes on my checkbox, I'm going to clear the old text, see if my checkbox is checked property is true or not, and then uh, describe it in the rich text box. So with my button, I can check independently. Uh, my, my button is a control that is allowing me to check the state of a bunch of checkboxes one after the other. But my checkbox 2, when I put the check changed event, every time I select the checkbox or unselect the checkbox, I'm triggering that event, check changed event handler to occur. And you can see the update is happening kind of in real time as I am selecting and unselecting the checkbox. So I hope this helps kind of give you a base understanding of how the checkbox works.